Good morning, lovely people. Today I would like to talk about um, basically the difference between aquaponics and hydroponics. Good morning, lovely people. Today I would like to talk about uh, the difference between aquaponics and hydroponics. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I, I often, uh, well, when I explain what I am doing, people often say, oh yeah, yeah, I know hydroponics. And I always have to say, no, it's not hydroponics, it's aquaponics. And even sometimes I receive queries from people who want to do hydroponics or people who want to do aquaponics, but they think, they think it's hydroponics. Basically, they mix up the two concepts. And um, I think it's, uh, <laughs> it's completely different. I, don't, I mean, I understand the words are similar because actually aquaponics is made out of the word aquaculture and hydroponics. So I understand that in the words you, you can make some uh, mistakes. However, in reality, they are completely different concepts. In aquaponics, we try to mimic nature. We try to use natural principles to produce our own food. And we work with an ecosystem and we rely on the interaction between spaces. While in hydroponics, people are growing one crop only. So it's a monoculture. We, when we are in hydroponics, we are in monoculture. And we don't use any natural interaction. We just want to grow one crop to generate profit. And we send the best conditions for this crop to grow. It's very different to aquaponics where we grow a lot of different fields. In aquaponics, we can grow a lot of different plants, fish, crustacean, bacteria, all together. So we can't compare the two. It's, it's really totally different. Um, in aquaponics, we don't rely on, uh, on nutrient or on fertilizer artificial things, you know, we, we just rely on the natural cycle, we just feed the fish and then uh, whatever is not used for the fish will be used for the rest of the ecosystem. This is a complete difference with uh, hydroponics where in hydroponics humans need to prepare a solution with the exact fertilizer, exact molecules, nutrients that the plant needs to grow. So in, in hydroponics, basically, if you want to grow one crop, you have probably a better production. That's, that's not a, There is nothing to hide there, right? If you want to work in hydroponics, if you want to work with one crop, you may produce more because you're going to fulfill the exact need of this specific crop. In aquaponics, however, because we are dealing with a whole ecosystem, we are never at the optimum for all of our species. We are not at the optimum for the fish, not at the optimum for every species of plants. But we try to find a compromise for all species. So the beauty of aquaponics is that we don't, we don't need the resources or not many resources, not much compared to hydroponics. And we produce a lot of food. But it's not only one crop, it's a mixture of different crops. And also, which is extremely important, we don't, have, we don't generate any waste, right? Everything is recycled and um, what is not consumed by one space is consumed by another. So the impact on the environment to grow food in, hydro, in uh, aquaponics is way lower. The need in technology to grow food in aquaponics is lower. You know, when you are in hydroponics, you always need to make sure the liquid you are growing your plants in is at a good concentration in terms of all the different minerals and nutrients and you need to renew this liquid quite often so it consumes a lot of resources 
while in aquaponics we just use water and then we feed our fish and the fish waste will be transformed thanks to some bacteria that are living in the grow beds mainly you see those grow beds here in those grow beds there are a lot of bacteria the water is coming from the fish tank or the pond is raised thanks to a little pump water pump is going to one filter there you see the black bin there and then it's coming here in the grow bed and it's full of bacteria same here you see there is no another grow bed there there is another bin at the back you can just see it it's a swire filter and then it's going into this bin and from this bin it's falling down here by the way if you want to have uh, the design of the Swire filter. I got step-by-step -step video to make this and it's free. So you can have access uh, to those uh, resources when you join the community, Melbourne Aquaponics community, from uh, the description. There is a link in the description of this video just below. And you can have access to all this information for free. So it's, it's uh, interesting, but also I sent uh, regular emails with more tips and uh, updates on what I am doing here. So, I don't know, I hope it's very clear because there is a word of a difference between aquaponics and hydroponics. Basically, it's like if you compare a cornfield, which is monoculture, with a forest, a natural forest, where you got a lot of spaces that are growing together. Both are very productive, but one needs a lot of human intervention, the cornfield, the forest is producing by itself. You don't need any human interact intervention. The forest is just producing, but it's a variety of crop. It's not only one crop. We have the same thing here in the aquaponic system. Okay, here we need some intervention because we need to build at the beginning the, the ecosystem. But then our work is only be, going to be to harvest the crop and to balance the ecosystem. There is no hard lifting work. There is no, nothing really specific to do not like in a in monoculture in monoculture they always want to use pesticide to kill any competition any other plants that could be growing around that they call weed any insects that will be living around and all the bacteria that are very beneficial and that, that are the the base of all natural principles so that's why the for me, aquaponics is really the way to go. I don't say hydroponics is not interesting. Hydroponics may be good. It, it allows to produce a lot of food, but it doesn't rely on natural principle and it needs a lot of resources and the quality of the food as well. Of course, you produce a lot of food, but then in terms of nutrient, I, I haven't seen many studies, to be honest, to compare hydroponics with aquaponics. But I guess here the food is growing more naturally, more closer to, to what would happen in nature. While in, uh, in hydroponics, we only use nutrients that we know as humans, we know what the plant needs to grow. But we, need, we know what the plant needs to grow in terms of biomass, you know, to, to, to create a lot of crop but not in terms of quality, you know, what, what are the nutrients that we get in the food nowadays? They are well lower than what they used to, do, to be. There is a study like this, um, I used to mention it a lot, but there was a study, I think it was about vitamin A, and uh, they were studying the number, the quantity of vitamin A that we were having in the peaches when we were eating peaches. And it seems like 50 years ago, you needed two peaches to fulfill the need of vitamin A of one person. And nowadays you need something like 40 or 50 of them. And I know it seems, it seems incredible, but I guess people who have done this study, they, they, rely, they, sorry, they, they show the worst uh, results they found. So that's what resonates with people. But still, uh, most of the food we consume nowadays has lost uh, its flavor and his nutrients. If you eat a tomato from the shop, it's completely flavorless. I mean, that's what I believe. Most of the time, right? I don't say all shops, but most of the tomatoes, they are grown to produce a lot of volume, but not many flavors, and I guess no many nutrients. While if you grow tomatoes at home, if you grow them in your garden, you see the difference, you know the difference. It has 
it's a world of difference. You can't compare the two. So, you see what I mean. It's, uh, for me, aquaponics, it's a really nice and interesting way because I believe when I grow food in, in aquaponics, I am basically having a positive impact on the planet and I minimize the resources needed. While when I grow food in hydroponics, it's basically the opposite. I'm trying to generate the most crop possible without much uh, thought on the impact that this food has on the planet, the impact to produce the food, and the quality of the food, the quality of the food that is produced as well. So I hope this, um, this is interesting for most of you. And I know that most of people who follow me they already know what aquaponics is and the difference with hydroponics. But because hydroponics also use a lot of floats, a lot of NFT, nutrient film technique, you know, it's growing plants in pipes. And this is techniques that are also used in aquaponics. Uh, sometimes two techniques are mixed up. So that's why I wanted to make this precision because uh, <laughs> for me, it's, it's a word of a difference. And uh, I think we need to be clear on this. When we work with aquaponics, we're not only producing plants, we are also produce fish, but we have bacteria in the middle. And basically we have a whole ecosystem and, and there is no waste, everything is uh, recycled. So the waste of one element is recycled for the other. That's the beauty of aquaponics and we don't have this at all in hydroponics. So again, if you want to learn more about aquaponics, you can join the Aquaponics Revolution movement. It's a link that is into the description of this video. When you join, I send you some uh, basic information about aquaponics and then I send you regular emails with tips where um, I give update on what I am doing. Um, and uh, yeah, we are communities, so obviously. I help people from this community to grow their own food at home thanks to aquaponics. So I see you in the next video. Bye bye.